Okay, so we're doing this live stream and we know no one's in here right now, but that's okay. Um, we did the drone network tonight, as you guys know, we had a great show. Uh, things were going excellent. Ray and Doc, thank you guys for continuing on to show us things. Went. Um, so we had a lipo accident tonight. I was charging or storage charging a car battery, a Ovonic one that's in like in that hard case thing. I don't know what happened. It never gave my charger a chance to pick up on it. It just, it just, it went off. Um, it was crazy. I had all my uh, lipos around it because I was going to fly to Mars. So I was kind of getting everything, you know, ready and get everything going. So um, I got a little bit here to show you guys of what's left. Hey Ray. Tim, hey Ray and John, John. Tim. So here's what's left of the battery that that literally went off. Um, <sighs> I, I went out there and that was just engulfed with flames. Crystal jumped right into action. We had flames two feet high on the countertops. Um, guys, I want to stress this to you. I mean, seriously, um, all jokes aside, everything. This is the scariest thing I've ever had go through. Um, you guys know how I tell you about wrapping the batteries. I kid you not. If you can look at that battery, this, this took the brunt. And it gave us probably 30 seconds difference because I had like 15 of these guys sitting around right near that one. And the flames was on the outside of the bag. And good thing it was burnt. It was melting the plastic off, but it wasn't burning through the, the, the fireproof material. <sighs> but if it would have did this, Tim, I'm sorry. It got one of Tim's batteries. He just sent me two brand new 4S batteries in here. 6,200 big money batteries. And it, the one is barely there, but the ones it's very nice, recognizable. Um, so we just wanted to definitely do this live stream to come back and tell you guys that everything is okay. It, uh, it just burnt the countertop a little bit, the towel, um, the house stinks a little bit. Russell jumped into action. We all three did the teamwork thing and got this handled, got everything under control. Didn't need the fire department. Thank God. Um, but yeah, man, as you can see, this battery was taking a beating and I cannot stress enough. Please get this and put it on your batteries. If something happens, it's going to give you that little bit of more time that you definitely want. I charge right by the sink. So we literally, me and Crystal just took, you know, and was taking the hot stuff and shoving it in the sink with our hands. And we got a little bit of blisters, but blisters heal and the house is still here. I like Crystal talk now. Yes. Michael, double A. Hey, welcome. Uh, like I've always said. Uh, yeah, double A, I got burnt. Um, when you guys saw me jump and run, uh, when I went out there, all I saw was the corner of my kitchen on Thanks, fire. Thanks, John. It it was un ungodly. It was a five thousand. Um. Y'all know I'm short anyway. I'm going to put it out there. But when you walk out and oh, it was there's flames that are over my head. It was serious. It, it almost sounded like a 747 land out here in our yard. It was just like a... I took the live stream down because I just felt like that isn't something that people need to keep go back and watching. Guys, listen to me and hear me loud and hear me clear. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, Michael. I know for a fact, many of my brothers. Oh, let me pause you real quick. So, double A, I had a um, RC car battery, the 5,000 milliamp hour, 3S. They're in like a hard case because for the car, if it tumbles, it's, you know, not got that soft case. I was storage charging it and it just, it just went up. We were live, double A, and loud enough to hear it it yeah, was yeah the, the next thing you you heard was this ungodly sound and i i knew it was nothing that should have been an, a normal noise and i knew it was inside the house and i literally jumped out of this chair and as soon as i rounded the corner i saw flames and any of you that know me know that i've had four knee surgeries know that i have broken most of the bones in the lower half of my legs over time and know that i don't run 
And let me tell she you, she ran down. I the was hallway. in a full fledged run. She unplugged the charger immediately. I mean, I guess I don't know. By the time I got there, it was just engulfing, and it was just like and barren. things were being moved. Yeah. And I, I, I appreciate everybody who has reached out. And that's why we come back live because yeah, everybody was concerned. Not everybody is in different chat groups with us. So instead of just, yeah, just messaging them. everybody, we wanted to let you know ourselves. Yeah, we're shook up, but we are okay. David, uh, appreciate you stopping in, but we just jumped in. And then we had a uh, live stream tonight, and we had a, a lipo accident. I was charging because I was going out tomorrow. So I learned a lot through this. Number one, I will not be charging why I'm live, that's a no-no because I can't be there with that charger. Two, I have a LiPo safe box and I was a pure idiot for not using it. It, it would have just burnt the box or did whatever and we could have grabbed it, walked out the door. But uh, I will be using that and I do think I'm gonna be purchasing another one of that. I lost some cables, some batteries, it doesn't matter. That's all stuff that can be replaced. Like Tim said, us and being here and it's like our house and Russell just jumping in. It was amazing. It really was. Whew. Yeah, just like Michael says, guys, remember, wipe up batteries are dangerous. They are very dangerous. And I, and all I the time, know brothers who charge and leave their house. Do not do that, please. Guys, this shit can happen to anybody at any time. I'm you charged. may think you're safe, but listen to me. And please hear me loud. I'm begging. I'm begging as a mom. I'm begging as a wife. Wrap them batteries. Stay at home. And stay close by your charger. Because that shit can happen at any time. You have a split Thank second you, to react. Thank and you, yeah, Michael. Try to react smart. It's like Chuck said. You don't even think. Have a, a pot holder right there. I did. We it did. was literally hanging right on the wall. But like I said, when I walk around this corner and I see flames that are taller than myself, and I, go I don't there. think clearly. And she wasn't thinking clearly because she took all the batteries, she pushed them in the sink, and then she was getting ready to take the fireball and shovel on top of them. He, and he, I was he, like, no, and I grabbed the fireball, was, this thing here in that pan, I grabbed that. And like, I don't even know what I did with it. I don't know if I put it in the pan or I held it under the water. I can't even tell you, but. You actually grabbed it, it from my so hand fast. and held it under the water. And I just turned the water on the light bows and just started, you know, I was charged right there by the sink too. I always said that I have a sink and a window and I just turned on the water, cold water, and just like started doing it. My fat shark battery got all crazy with water and started going nuts. And I was like, I don't care. You know what I mean? It's. We still have the house. That's the main thing. I've always, this was always in the back of my mind. Like David said, I've seen bad things happen with lipos and it's always happened in the back of my mind. I have seen people literally their house, just they, they go there and it's just like nothing. I'm just like, thank God someone was on our side tonight and give us that little bit of time to get it done, you know? And guys, um, I don't want to be a firefighter. If if you guys come back after the the chat has been or the uh, I right, can't, John, it was sorry, I can't think straight tonight. Um, good, after the stream deal, Brian. has uploaded, I will put the GoFundMe <laughs> link again in there for uh, Reaction ENT's family. Yes, um, because the, we have removed the stream, so that link is no longer there. Or if you check it out on uh, the was, drone Michael. network on Facebook, that the GoFundMe link is there. And if you guys don't know, um, we lost Sean the Don Reaction ENT uh, early this morning. Early this morning. So he was a brother of ours. I just got to meet Sean, and I'm a good just say this real quick because the stream got canceled, and that's what I really hurt. I don't want really to take that private due to that, but. Yes, he will be greatly missed. Um, he was a good guy. He actually showed me that after kind of this is what I'm taking off his presence and how we why we met because he showed me that there was still good in FPV stuff, not just 
the scoundrels that kind of come through and just rout everybody up. It's still good people and passionate people. So I got to see that in him. And he, man, he's a good, he was a great guy. And so sorry it, prayers just, for his family. It, it's I can't imagine what they're going through. An extreme day. It has been a really, really messed up Friday. It, it truly has. And like, like I said earlier tonight, you know, I found out first thing this morning. I hear you. Just I, I found out from Splat. So I had to tell my brothers personally who I had introduced to Sean either through our anniversary trip or through our trip to the Neville. And then I had to tell him. And then this tonight. Yes, and Chuck has been on me about a Bardwell board, and I appreciate him and all that. And I will, I promise, I will try to get one. But this this car battery was just like plugged right in with the uh, EC5 connector and the little balance lead. Like I didn't even remember like when it happened. I was like, I don't even know. I was trying to wrap my brain around what happened so I can know to avoid this. And that's the only thing I can remember, and that's the only thing that's not there no more is that car battery, and it, the leads it was hooked to was literally disintegrated. So definitely get you a Bardwell board because I hear they're really, really good, and they will quickly pop the the circuit in there instead of let, waiting for your charger to pick up on it. It didn't even give my charger a chance. Yeah, he did. He did. He did, he did that, and, man, he literally went to Atlanta and – I'd say for Sean, he had he had a a great time the past week. Sean, he got to do. He's nah, really passionate about nah. FPV. Sean Sean had said the last well weeks I two know, months in whatever, FPV yeah. for him had been epic. It's a parallel he, board. It had Eric. been one of the best experiences he had ever had, and I'm so glad that we actually got to be a part of that. We didn't get to go to Rampage. And we didn't get to go to Atlanta, but we we had our own special time with Sean. Yeah. We really did. And yeah, I mean, an amazing guy. Like I didn't even not no harm to no one out there. You guys know the who you know that are the good guys and the guys that are bad guys. So I was like, I was kind of having a moment in FPV where I was like, I kind of want to keep going, but then I kind of want to try to maybe push off a little bit because the hobby's getting to be like no one wants to do it anymore kind of right that's where your mind puts you in the winter and you know you have some bad times and meeting sean was just like showed me that no dude there are people out there that still have that drive um and that passion like me i want to fly all the time this here set you back a little bit like it made me really ask myself do I want to move on? And then I get to thinking of the people that I inspire and help. It's like, I can't just walk away over something like this. I can come back and try to make it even safer for them and give some tips or something. I don't know. It's just like what I like doing. Gals, thank you, brother. Thank you for trying to call. I'm sorry. It's just everything was going on at the moment. I appreciate your love, brother. Yeah. that Like I said, that's why we, we wanted to do something a video a stream Dang, something so that you guys knew that we were actually okay because when i went back and i watched the stream it about made me cry i looked at her face coming in on that stream and i just walked out the room here i couldn't even deal with it it just i was like i have to take that and put it private and then you know us throwing the link in for sean you know trying to help his family out and then you know uh, giving him a moment of silence and all it really hurt me to take it down but then I was just like drawn but I think I can go back Josh said and cut the tail end of that off and then we can get the live stream back out because that was a good stream and Ray and Doc you guys did incredible went back and watched a little bit and you guys just took it right over I appreciate you on everything you guys did yeah we really truly do and guys like I said before and it proves it once again. Dang, David. You all wow. are family. You've seen us through the good times. Thanks, Jess. The bad times, the highs, the lows. 
the happiness, the fears, the good, the bad, the ugly. You talking about the one of yours, Tim, that went? We laugh together, we cry together. That's what the family is all, all about, and that's you guys. The one of yours, yes, for us. I'm probably lost, too. I'm probably not picking up. You know how crazy my brain is. Um, the one that caught fire on us was a 3S. Uh, the 5,000 or 5,200 milliamp hour. I'm sorry. Lunch, the 5,200 milliamp hour. Uh, let me grab one and show you guys. That way, if you got these laying around, let me get this out of here, too. If you guys got this laying around, you can literally see and know be careful. <laughs> sorry, guys. I am like wiped and exhausted and unfortunately the spray keeps wearing off so this battery here you see for the cars it has to have a plastic case so in case the car tumbles double a I'm, I'm gonna get some aloe because i know that helps and unfortunately i don't have an aloe plant anymore yeah we do we used to have we used to have it, but I, I, told I her my have hands a, could take a, it. I'm a so green thumb like he did, it. but yeah. But this, uh, I run these on, um, I run them, uh, two of them in series and run 6S on uh, some RC cars we got. I don't know if that's it or it just completely didn't stop at storage where it should have and cut it off. Everything was hooked up to balance and everything. But yeah, these boxes um, kind of helped a little bit too because I guess if it would have just been the case of the lipo, just, you know what I mean? It kind of, it made a hell of sound, like a scary sound I'll probably hear in my sleep tonight. But oh, yeah. if you got these batteries, be careful with them because you cannot see the cells. That's what really bothers me with this. And I will end up decasing these or just trashing them because they're not worth it. <laughs> Ray, get your ass down here then. I know it's a five and a half hour drive. He said he's going to bring it. I'll play it when he comes down. Oh. But yeah, like like I, I, I told my brothers, but uh, in, our, in a chat group, I was like, Shh, I am seriously crashing hard. The adrenaline rush, the shock. And don't forget to wash your hands. I have to go wash my hands because when you touch them, the, the the liquid that's in the battery, that whatever, I don't know the oh, chemical, God, that but that awful. stuff sprayed everywhere as it's all over all my battery. So I've accidentally touched my face. It's going to really get irritated or something. So please make sure you wash your hands when you're handling them things. You can see the yuckiness off of them on my fingers. Yeah, apparently if you have a green enough thumb, you can grow aloe plants forever, but somebody killed the aloe plant. Can you check your check? Please. I'll tell him when he comes back in, Tim. Yeah, well, just add water. Somebody doesn't always do that. Ouch. Uh, clean holes. <laughs> Check your text. Tim sent you a picture. Hey, oh, Tiff. Said text. I'm going out to text message. <laughs> I think we're both tired. I know I'm tired. Oh, you're asking about the board? Um, no, it would be a 6S one. I'm sorry. I didn't understand what you were talking about. Well, no, I, never mind. You use forest batteries. <laughs> I'm lost right now. I'm sorry, Tim. <laughs> yes, for the forest batteries you would use, that would be what you use. I'm I'm not thinking right tonight. No, he's I'm not. I'm thinking success. <sighs> don't, don't which means more trouble when this happens. <laughs> Jesus.
Tiff, welcome in. But guys, we're not going to keep. Um, and we don't, anybody we stepped on, sorry to stream in. I know. Back and just tell you guys because I know a lot of people was worried. Yeah, we be okay. And everything, everything. everybody's okay. Russell, us, obviously. But yeah, it was a. Okay, so he said they do multiple sizes. I'll let him know. I don't know if he's still in here or not. This one just says 4S Chuck. Uh, it says Bardwell 4S Parallel Charging. I don't know if it's. Ouch. Oh, I see it says 4S. Oh, no, it's port. It says 6, 7. Okay. I'm lost. He's tired. I am tired. Too. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for your support. A lot of people reached out to us, and that's why I said we had to definitely do this and come out and let you guys know instead of letting you all worry about us. We love you guys. Thank you for your support. Remember, try to be safe with your light bows. I thought I was being safe, but I was not safe enough. Um, so pick up your uh, Bardwell boards like Chuck's saying because that will trigger – as soon as something happens on the board, and I guess it would still hopefully not catch fire, but the more safety things you have there, the better. So, love you too, Elvis. <laughs> Double A. That's Guys, Elvis. hug your family tighter. You're welcome, Tim. Remember, tomorrow is never promised. Exactly. So, get the hell out there and fly your drones. And enjoy our hobby. We're going to run out, Justin. Uh, but Justin, we ended up having a massive lipo fire during a live stream earlier. so. But everything's good. We had Johnny. to join back in or start a new stream just to let everybody know that we are okay. Yep. And, yeah, it's been a hell of a day. But like I said, hug your families tighter. Yeah, I, know, I love bro. every single one of you all. Go miss Sean. When I say your family, night Chuck. Your family. Sean learned that in person. He he said he didn't understand what I meant when I told him welcome to the family. And by the end of the time that we had spent with him, I think he totally understood what we meant when we said welcome to the family. Yeah, John, um, that's what I told uh, Crystal and Russell that we need to make sure we go in outside too and breathe a lot too in and out because that it will mess with you, the smoke. That's why I told him we got to get out of here, get the house ventilated. So we did that. Uh, Russell like was sweeping doors open and shutting all that. But, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. It. it Like I said, it, it's been a hell of a night. So um guys like i said get out there enjoy our hobby that's why i drink water i do feel you like you don't you don't let the rain stop you you don't have the excuse you get out there and you do what makes you happy oh tim you're awesome i'm gonna hug this guy when i meet him i hope you're all right with a guy hugging you so if you're gonna get me one yeah it would be the success one then you are so cool Thank you, Michael. Look, he actually has his clothes on now. Yeah, this guy is a hero tonight. Come on, lean in here. Oh, lean in. Oh, well, you're going to have to lean in. Lean See what that's pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to show himself, but yeah, you guys know what Russell looks like. There he is. But yeah, like I, I said, I, uh, he, I bet he has family, cleaned everything up. We love you guys. Chuck said it's handled. You guys, you guys gotta stop. Come on now, you guys. Your love is 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 plenty. I mean, I appreciate everything, but your love is support and everything is way more than any money can buy. Every single one of you that Russia. reached out have been. Yeah, Justin, it was a um car battery, one of the ones in the hard case. It just. I had shorts on too. I wasn't. I had clothes on. Yeah, you had shorts, but then it looked like you were shorts. trying to crawl in here or fell on the floor. It was bad. No <laughs> parallel board at all was being used. It was plugged directly into the Venom charger with the EC5 connector. 
Um, and then with the balance leads plugged in, it just the, the battery didn't give the charger a chance to beep and let me hear. I would have heard it. And, you know, I usually get up, walk out <laughs> and hear it. All we heard was like a 747 lock and brakes up out here. Yeah, but crazy. actually inside the house. In the house. That's though, yeah. the, the really weird thing. So, guys, guys be safe. Peace. Love and chicken grease. We love you all. <laughs> we will see you next time. And we'll see you next Friday. I promise. Be good and stay safe out there. And enjoy our hobby. Exactly. Love you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.